Welcome to Policy Square, a collaboration of Primus Partners and Business World. We bring to you powerful ideas and life-changing stories in conversations with visionaries and policy makers. In this edition of Policy Square, we are joined by an innovator, a techpreneur, and a mentor to budding entrepreneurs. He made history with the first ever free email service on the internet. Yes, the Hotmail. For many of us, Hotmail was our first email account. It had 10 million subscribers out of 40 million internet users back in the day. We are joined by Sabir Bhatia, founder of Hotmail. Welcome, Sabir. Sabir is in India for the India launch of his self-funded enterprise Shori. Thank you very much, yes. So, Sabir, I think to get into our conversation, our audience and uh, we are all very keen to hear about the growth story of Hotmail. Take us through that. How did you scale it internationally? And as a young budding entrepreneur then those days, what are some lessons and some advice for budding entrepreneurs today? Um, Hotmail was a very simple idea. Uh, my partner, business partner, uh, Jack Smith and I, we were both working at a company called Firepower Systems. And the company put a firewall around our corporate intranet, which made it difficult for us to access our personal email accounts. His email was at uh, AOL and I had an account at uh, stanford.edu. That's when the idea that we could make email available on the web came to us. A uh, very simple idea. And so, uh, you know, we, we thought that that would solve our problem. And uh, before we knew it, uh, not only did it solve our problem, but it solved the problem of a lot of other uh, users on the, on the internet. Uh, so in the early days, we grew by word of mouth. Uh, with every email uh, that was sent outside of Hotmail, there was a tagline attached to it that said, get your free email at hotmail.com. And uh, the word of mouth is very powerful. Uh, and especially in the early days of the internet, when people were looking to find uh, uh, a unique uh, moniker of, the, of themselves, uh, on the internet, they would sign up for Hotmail. Um, internationally, it grew uh, like wildfire. I did one press conference or a press release in India, and suddenly pretty much every internet user in India signed up for it. Uh, the same was the story in, in, in countries which had high penetration of the of internet in those days, like Sweden. Uh, pretty much half of Sweden had signed up, uh, for half of Sweden internet users had signed up for Hotmail. Uh, so this gives you an idea that if you have, uh, you know, a, a product or a service that solves a problem, uh, you will find takers for it immediately. And and uh, the, the same has been the case of so many other companies that have followed uh, that have solved a real problem. Uh, and before you know it, you know, all of the Internet or all of mobile devices are using that product or service. Tell us about Showreel. You've been in the capital. Today was the India launch of Showreel. Um, also, how is it different from other platforms, similar platforms for creative ideas and entrepreneurs? Showreel is truly unique uh, in what it is trying to solve. It's trying to solve uh, the problem of either an outdated system of education uh, or one uh, that does not reach enough people. For example, take a country like India. Uh, probably there are, you know, uh, 30 or 40 million kids who want to go to college every year. But the physical infrastructure allows for only 10 million students to go to college uh, for various reasons. You know, people are born in the wrong family, economic reasons. Uh, they're just not aware. Uh, and in the age of AI, uh, you know, like I, I've said before, it is not what you know, but what you do with what you know that is important. Uh, knowledge per se has become irrelevant thanks to the internet and tools such as ChatGPT. It's the use of knowledge. Uh, so uh, Shoril is an attempt to uh, flip the model of education from being a knowledge-based 
system of education to being an inquiry based system of education. And it leverages AI to the hilt. So first thing is uh, the first uh, course on our platform is on entrepreneurship. Uh, uh, first of all, you know, all of the content that is created is AI generated. So uh, it, it, it's in the form of uh, content that the, the youth of today consume more and more, bite-sized videos. Uh, and then the testing mechanism is also truly unique. It's in the form of a verbal interview. You know, we've all grown up uh, writing examinations and answering questions and papers and all of that. But, you know, really that is, that doesn't, that's not true knowledge. Because uh, at least in my case, when I uh, went through uh, high school and college, I used to memorize things, repeat them in an exam and completely forget them. So what use is that knowledge if, I, if I'm not using it and in not internalizing it? Uh, this enables people to truly understand concepts because the kind of questions that they ask are critical questions. Uh, and we truly test how well they have understood certain concepts. Uh, and, and finally, the, even the, the, the testing and the evaluation of their responses is done through an AI engine. So this is, I, there is no other platform of this kind that exists on the planet. End to end, it's an AI generated and uh, uh, AI run course. Uh, obviously it's a, it's a bold experiment, but uh, if this takes off, uh, maybe this is the way to educate you know, all of the planet. So the entrepreneurial and the startup landscape in India is evolving. Uh, given that you have such a unique proposition and a solution, which is end to end. Uh, what are some partnerships, if at all, that you are hoping to forge while your time here and going forward? Uh, first of all, we are very delighted to partner with Jamia today to uh, you know, offer this platform in partnership with them. Uh, because in addition to bringing credibility because of the Jamia name, obviously, and it's an institution that's over 100 years old, uh, they've also, you know, uh, decided to give some uh, units of credit for people who do this course. So that is a huge step. Second, it really unlocks, uh, you know, the critical thinking abilities of every individual who takes this course online. And in terms of partnerships, uh, we hope to proliferate it amongst the uh, entrepreneurial community in India uh, and, uh, you know, help them think through the problems that they're trying to solve. Uh, and, and I truly believe that uh, the, the way out of the unemployment problem in India is entrepreneurship. It's not manufacturing, it's not services, it's entrepreneurship. Uh, and I've seen this happen. I mean, if you think about it, all of Silicon Valley is built on human thought. You know, there are no, there's nothing physically that is produced in Silicon Valley. Even the chips are not produced there anymore. They're just designed there. You know, Apple just designs the, the, the iPhones. They're all manufactured someplace else. And that's where there is, that's all IP driven. And uh, this will unleash the critical thinking abilities of individuals so that, uh, you know, when India is ready, it transforms itself into an IP driven economy. Interesting you say that, because today we are even talking about Web3 and we find the tech investment going out of our country. I mean, you did mention Silicon Valley and things are being manufactured all over, not necessarily there. But coming back to India, uh, why do you think that we find investment going out and not, you know, remaining here? What are your thoughts around that? Um, I don't know. I'm not aware of investment going out of India. But uh, I think within India, the greatest potential is here. Uh, people have to realize that the real asset of India are, is its human capital. And the way to unlock that asset is through education. And if current systems of education are not good enough to educate the entire population, we need platforms like, like Shoreal to quickly educate people with modern thinking skills uh, modern knowledge, relevant in the in the workplace, and I think that's what will unlock, you know, the true potential of India. We wish you all the best uh, for sure, real, and uh, together I hope we can, uh, you know, forge partnerships like what you've done with Injamia, 
so that Shoreel can have a wider penetration both in urban as well as in rural India. But one last question, and this is a little personal one. Uh, in 1998, when you did sell off Hotmail, what did you do with that booty? <laughs> what did I do? No, just like any young person, I went a little crazy. But then I realized that uh, true happiness is, you know, not in spending money or, you know, uh, material things. Uh, but, you know, initially there were a few small things here and there, but nothing too extravagant. And, uh, you know, my kids now talk about fancy cars and I don't talk about cars anymore. I talk about fancy bicycles, you know, <laughs> that's my new passion. But, uh, uh you know, I, I've been very fortunate and very lucky uh, to have been associated with a, a company that was, you know, uh, that uh, was at the uh, was there at the very beginning of Web 1.0. Okay. Uh, again, all the best, and we hope you bu will build wealth for yourself as well as for young and aspiring entrepreneurs. Thank you for being on Policy Square. Thank you very much.